Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Now, I've done demonstrations with our technology against high performance projection screens, as in the DMP Supernova, Seymour AV 1.3, Firehawk G4, just to name a few of them. Now, I'm doing demonstrations on cheap screen paint. Also, we'll be doing a demonstration against bare silver screen and some of those other screen paints out there to show you that you are not getting the best that you should get from your projector there's no point in you going out and spending the money for a very good projector if you're just going to muddy up your screen when i mean muddy up your screen i mean a lot of these do-it-yourself cheap screen paints have um put it this way will give you a very dirty picture now if you look at the screen you're probably thinking you're getting the best of your performance from your projector but you really aren't and I'm going to show you in this demonstration the difference between our technology and anything out there on the market now keep in mind like I said the demonstrations that we do you don't see a lot of people doing I don't see anybody doing to tell you the truth and that shows you the difference between what we do and everybody else whatever, whatever sorry what everybody else does because if your screen paint does do what it says it does you should have no problem doing the same demonstrations that we do we like to push the envelope raise the bar I mean if you want the best of your projector I'm going to show you how to get it now I'm going to show you what to stay away from also now oops someone's tripped over my freaking projector let me show you what we got here first before we even do all of this from the beginning let's remove all of this right now and let's just keep this real keep this real now what we have here is we have a screen paint that I made myself, uh, pretty much just how all of it's made. And some demonstrations, if you watch the earlier demonstrations of some other people who've made screen paint, they show you how to make it. And it's the same thing. It's black paint and white paint. That's all it is. There's nothing different about it. The only thing they do in the demonstrations is a little bit of lights on, a little bit of lights off, high-end, high-power projectors, stuff like that. Projectors too close to the screen. A lot of stuff that they do to try to make the paint look amazing, but it isn't. It's just everyday black and white paint, and sometimes they might mix a little Metallica in it, metallic paint into it to just get the effect or glitter. So I'm going to show you what you're getting. All right, so first things first, these are the two paints that I made. This is a lighter version, this is a darker version. Now keep in mind, the more black that you put into it, the darker you're going to get. And this is how they get their different shades. Now they use black paint, doesn't make a difference. They use white paint, doesn't make a difference. They just get their different shades by adding more or less black. Now, here we are. This is the two, in my, keep in mind, I'm going to take the same screen paint, I'm going to put it through all the testing that we put our screens through to show you that it's just crap and that's what it is and you're just getting you're giving yourself a dirty picture it's the equivalence if you took all your windows in your house and you just smeared them in mud over a period of time what do you think the uh, what do you think when you look out the window what kind of uh, image are you going to see when you look out the window you're going to get a very dirty muddy disgusting picture or your windshield so this is the equivalence of what you're going to get now first things first I'm going to remove this I want you to look at the video very carefully right and you're probably thinking that is an amazing picture the color is on point it's nice it's bright actually it's a dirty picture but you really can't see what you're getting like I said with proper lighting with a high-end projector it's going to look incredible. Now I'm using my, um, pause it right there for a minute. Keep in mind, look at that picture. I'm using my ViewSonic full 1080p projector, full 1080p projector. So if you're using a full 1080p projector, you're not getting the best of your projector. You're going to cheat your projector's performance. I want you to look at that screen. I've done these demonstrations before. My alarm going off. My wife's alarm. I'm already up early in the morning, regardless. All right, now we're going to stop. We're going to pause. We're going to take it back to the very beginning, okay? Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to block my projector because I want you to look at the color of the screen. I did a very light dim I did a very light screen and one with a little bit more contrast. We're going to come over here. We're going to grab our luminous. Now, keep in mind we're going to have a luminous launching on the 25th sorry 
Long choice of words, my bad. Sorry, people. Not the 25th. We're going to be launching on the 16th. Early launch on the Luminous. The blackout cloth in the panels will be launching on the 16th. Early launch date test run. It should go very well. We got people calling in already trying to get their hands on that blackout cloth. That screen looks incredible outside. Oh, keep in mind, this will be going outside. This will be going outside, so I'll be showing you, even if you buy this stuff, use it outside. We're going to do ambient light, we're going to do high performance screens on it. It's just crap. I'm just telling you from the dirt really is. All right, so let's begin. Now you can see the Luminous is a lighter screen than you have here. A little bit, this has a little darker here and there, because then like I said, it's a darker screen, but still bottom line, I'm going to show you what you're going to get. All right, so let's remove and show you what you're, what you're missing from your projector. You see it now? Let's begin. Now you notice how the picture has become the screen paint that you were looking at before. It looks so fantastic. You see how it looks dirty. It looks muddy. That's what you're getting. Now I'm gonna pause it right here, right? There's a reason why people spend the money for a Seymour AV or DMP Supernova because it is a high performance screen. There's a reason why that they spend the money for it. I'll come over here, I got my Seymour AV 1.3 right there. There's a reason why they spend the money for it. You know, you want the best from your, if you want to go the cheap route and you don't care and you basically want to get a cheap looking screen, then you knock yourself out. That's what you go for. You know what I mean? That's what you want. You know what I mean? But some people really want the best when it comes to their home theater setup. This is where we come in. We offer you the best, but it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. That's what separates us from everybody else. Look at the chrome on the bike, look at the color, look at how bright the Lamborghini looks. Look how blue, how beautiful the blue sky is. Look at this. Huge, huge difference. Of course, I know I'm gonna ruffle some feathers on this, but it is what it is. I mean, come on, you have to accept technology for what it is. And the Luminous is far better than anything we have ever designed. Look at that. Look at that right there. Look at the color on that Lamborghini compared to the paint. This being the lighter version of screen paint, this being a not a medium at the most. But look at that. Pause that. I already paused it already from the door. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna grab the Seymour AV. I want to put it right there. All right. And come back over here. I gotta change out my floor too. Now, you see the Seymour AV 1.3? See how beautiful, how bright it is? See that? Now that's on the darker side, of course. Now we're gonna take that same light screen, Seymour AV 1.3. I'm gonna put it over here on the lighter side. All right. There you go. Someone once said they did this demonstration with the Seymour AV 1.3. I doubt they beat that screen. Now that's the Seymour AV 1.3. See how clean and how beautiful the color looks? Now we'll take that Seymour AV 1.3 next to our screen. And we'll put it right on our, oops, that was supposed to land on the screen, not fall off the screen. All right, we'll put it right there on our screen. I'm gonna back up because I don't want to trip over my projector in the process. This is what a Seymour AV 1.3 looks like on our screen. Now we'll go back a minute, about a minute, and we'll start again. I think I went back more than a minute, but. Now see, that's the difference between our technology, a high performance screen such as the Seymour AV 1.3, don't get me wrong, very incredible piece of technology, very beautiful screen, but versus a luminous, it doesn't, it's not bright enough. A luminous would turn it dark. And look at our screen compared to the dirty screen paint, which you thought looked amazing. I got some, 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 uh, 
some backlashing, a little backlashing. I think people who've done the cheap screen paint and they were saying, well, you didn't test it against a high-end performance screen. I test against high-end performance screens all day. All right, let's, let's be nice here. You know? All right, so we're going to remove this. Let's take all this off. Now, for those of you going to say, well, you know, Ken, that's not fair. All your lights are on. I'm not going to watch my, 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 um, my, my TV or TV shows or whatever with the lights on. Turn them all off. All right, fine, so be it. I'll turn all the lights out. I'll still show you what you're missing from your picture. Lights are out. Let's start the demonstration. Again, you think you're getting a beautiful picture? All right, look at it. Just stare at it a bit there. Let me show you what you are missing. Let's come over here. Let's grab our sample sheet of the luminous. We're going to get so much back from this technology. It's going to be unbelievable. Lights off. All right. That's the color of the Lamborghini. See how dirty, the, how dark the screen got? Next to a luminous. See, with this technology, you get 100% of your projector and more color enhancement technology a brighter image because the screen can produce such a bright image these screens look incredible outside they look incredible in fully lit environments look at the chrome Now, lights out. Look at the difference between our technology and the technology you're seeing. See, that's why we call it, it's a dirty paint. And it is. That's what you're getting. Now, like I said, less whatever screen paint or mix that's being used, if you could do the same demonstration and show there's a difference between your technology and anything out there on the market, please do so. But other than that, high power projectors, uh, poorly lit environments, whatever, it's still the same thing. It's just everyday house paint. No science, there's nothing behind it. All right, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I'd like to thank you all for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Our new luminous technology screens as in the blackout cloth and panels will be available a little early, remember early launch on the 16th. And this stuff is going to go really fast, very fast. I'd like to thank you all for your time. Uh, the blackout cloth will be available in sizes um, 100 inch to uh, 120. We do have a price for it now. And we do do 235.1 for those of you who want to know. I'm going to actually do a customized screen for my wall upstairs. All right. All right. Thank you all 